Hey guys, Brick Queen here with the newest Lego Movie 2 set reveal. It is the Rexelsior? Uh, I think I pronounced that right. Um, okay, so let me just give you my completely honest opinion on this set. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> uh, let me just be totally blunt there. I I really am not going to be a fan of this set. This is definitely what I'm going to pass on. But um, let me show it to you anyway. Let me show you um, the parts that I do like about this. I think this set would have made a lot more sense. Um, and I would have liked it better if they had made basically this set um, when they were doing like the Avengers stuff and made like a Thanos glove. And I think a lot of people would have liked that. This is just kind of goofy um, to me. Now, if you like this set, that's perfectly fine. I'm not telling you you can't like it. I'm just giving you my personal opinion. I don't like it. Um, so, uh, by the way, thebrickfan.com is who posted this if you want to check out the pictures. Um, so that's the set. Uh, the box for it anyway. And you can see in the corner down here that uh, basically you can put your hand inside of it like a glove because I don't know why. I know, obviously, it's got something to do with the movie. It's going to be in the movie. I get it. I just don't like it. Um, <laughs> there's a, another picture of it. Now this, like, okay, there are a couple of things that I do like about the set. So let me, let me explain. There are little micro figures of uh, the two guys right here at the bottom. That's kind of cool. I like that. And of course, baby dinosaurs. Baby dinosaurs are always going to be awesome. I love baby dinosaurs <laughs> in the sets. Um, but that's not enough to make me want to buy the set. And that is supposed to be like a, a miniature version of like Emmett's little house thing. Um, which, I mean, that's nice too, but uh, this is not enough to make me want the set, especially given, given the price tag on this. So, um, this set was revealed at the London Toy Fair. And given that it's in London, they're going to have, you know, prices for over there. So, it says the set has 1,820 pieces and will retail for about 140 pounds roughly. So I put that into Google to see what it would be for us in the US and it's about $180. Um, now that's not to say that's exactly what the price tag is going to be because you know Lego sets their price or whatever but you can expect somewhere around 180 for this which is just way too much. I am not getting this set. Um, I would have been tempted to get it if they made like this with Avengers as a Thanos glove. That would have been awesome. Um, and these are the, the two minifigures in this. That's another thing. Such a huge set and you only get two minifigures? Are you kidding me? Ugh. Uh, the price tag is definitely not worth it. Um, in fact, uh, I was thinking about um, one of the shows that I enjoy watching. Um, it's actually on stream.me, not YouTube. But they do like a little poll. It's like a, a smasher pass. So I'm going to adapt that to this. And and let's let's do a build or pass poll. What do you think? You, you want this set? Put build. If you're not going to get this set, put pass. Obviously, I've already said I'm, I'm a I'm passing on this set for sure. Um, it is too expensive and too goofy looking to me um, to get this set. I just really not interested in this particular one. Um, they do have some Lego Movie 2 sets that look awesome and I'm probably going to get some of those, but this is not one of them. This is just not one of them. Um, and if you completely, totally disagree with everything I've been saying, that's perfectly fine. Let me know in the comments. Um, if you totally agree, that's fine too. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Either way, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Before you go, don't forget to click my picture to subscribe to the channel. 
And if you already subscribed, you can click the thumbnail to check out more of my videos.